Hi, I'm Bryce, and I live near Boston, Massachusetts. I play classical piano and accompany people a lot and do a little bit of singing. I'm Catherine, and I sing in a professional choir, and I direct musical theater. But the American Choral Directors Association has told us that choirs can't sing safely indoors. There was one in Washington that spread COVID-19 to more than half of its members. Many people are heartbroken by this and just can't stand not to make music together. That's what got our family on the, this quest. So here are the goals of this project. We want to allow a choir of up to 20 to sing together safely. We need to hear each other easily with no latency. We want to record, amplify, or live stream the choir sound. And the, so the sound needs to be good, of course, without being horribly expensive. So how can we meet in the same location and sing safely? Far enough apart so that we don't spread germs, but close enough together so that we can still hear each other. So imagine we wait for a nice day and we meet outside and spread the singers out six feet apart, 12 feet apart, maybe more. They can't hear very well, they can't see very well, and probably they can't sing together very well. So they'll probably be out of tune and out of sync. Some may sing softer so that they can hear other parts, but then nobody will be able to hear them. Even if they could stay together, how would they perform? Who would be able to hear them if they're spread all the way across a field? We're starting to think that we kind of need some audio equipment to help out here. So we got a hold of a mixer and some headsets and gave it a try with four singers. Sitting in their respective cars. We call this first try the driveway choir. Here's how it works. Each singer gets their own headset with a volume control and a mute switch. Everyone's sound goes from the microphone to the mixer, which combines everyone's sound together. From the mixer, it goes to the headphone amplifier and then back to everyone's headphones. So everyone can hear the sound of the group all the time. Then, if, we, if you want to, you can connect a laptop to the mixer through USB, and that's useful for playing tracks, for recording onto the hard disk, or for streaming to Facebook or something. But the laptop is optional. You the singers arrive and park. We plug everyone's headset into the sound system. Then we play a song on the headset to make sure that everyone's volume is correct. Then we ask each person to sing and speak something kind of loud so that we can adjust the gain and they won't get distorted. Okay, okay I'm going to take off my mask. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those are necessary from nope. our separate cars. Not from our cars. <laughs> yes, okay. that's the whole point. Oh, freedom. Freedom, freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Oh yes, I know. Yes, I know. Oh 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 yes, I know. Okay, that was the abridged version. <laughs> we switched. We switched to the second verse in the middle of the first verse. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> hey, but you all did it together. I didn't. <laughs> I stuck to my I guns, and I'm like, Lee. I stuck to my guns. I'm like, all right, they're not gonna go back. Because the accents are always perfect. <laughs> the nice thing is that. In a choir rehearsal like this, you can sing six or seven songs, you can really rehearse, you can kind of, as if you were in a real rehearsal, as opposed to the virtual choir where you spend three minutes in your house and then you wait a month for the technician to make it sound great and then you have a three minute piece that sounds really good, but you didn't do very much. Well, love is strong and roots grow deep.
time, we had singers sitting in their cars. But the same audio setup could help in a couple of other situations. Here, there are singers scattered around our yard. Or you could have singers scattered around a large indoor space like a church. Instrumental players, each in a different room of the same building. Or one player inside, one player outside, kind of looking through the window. We've only tried with four singers, but we have ideas on how to scale higher. We're excited about this because it could allow groups to make live music together again while maintaining their distance. Once the sound reaches the mixer, you can record it, you could amplify it for a live concert, or you could stream it for a remote concert. In our next video, we will show you the exact audio equipment that we used and how you could try it for your own group. I hope you found this useful. Please share your ideas about what works for your group.